dramatic night here at Brayhead Arena. Brayhead clan have beaten Coventry Blaze to progress into the Challenge Cup semi-finals after beating them 6-5 on aggregate. Joining me is the clan coach, Paul Gardner. Paul, talk about dramatic. What was going through your mind those last five minutes? Oh, I don't know about the last five, but the whole, <laughs> the whole hockey game. We started off flat and ended up down 2 nothing. but uh, just had confidence in my guys to keep working and keep working. And they're a tired group. They've played uh, four games in, in seven nights. Uh, but I don't know, I just sort of sensed uh, something. that We started to work real hard the last seven, eight minutes, and I was hoping we'd get a break, and we did. And uh, some key guys came through for us. And, Pretty happy guy right now. Un unbelievable scenes. I mean, Jake Galbraith scores that goal right at the end as well. Coventry were, were arguing that the, the goal was off the moon. And can you sympathise with, with, with them a wee bit, given how late the, the goal went? Uh, yeah, we've all been there, unfortunately. We've all uh, lost heartbreak games and everything. But, uh, um, it was a, it was a funny kind of hockey game because uh, you know they were in control and, and going along, and then they got undisciplined a little bit, took a couple of uh, poor penalties, and it sort of gave us some life and got back into it. But uh, yeah, you can sympathize with with anybody that loses. It's it's difficult, especially late in the. Uh, in the hockey game, but uh, that's what good players do. Jake Galbraith uh, is a great player and put a lot of points up in this league and uh, good players rise to the top and he sure did. You can sound sort of halfway through that third period, the amount of penalties that Clan were taking. Coventry were very much uh, having a lot of possession, having a lot of chances and Darren McChesney felt as though it could have went, went away from him. Oh sure, yeah, when we uh, we were down 3-2 and we took uh, three penalties in, in a row there and had the three guys in the box, uh, yeah, you're thinking if they get one it's over because we're tired and uh, it'll take our momentum out of the way. But uh, there's a gutsy, gutsy effort. There's a lot of boys that uh, got big hearts and uh, certainly showed it. And uh, again, uh, I'm really proud of my guys. Uh, just proud the way they dig deep and uh, and win some hockey games. Bit of luck as well for the equalising goal. Nicoletti shot. Goalkeeper doesn't quite get a full a full hand to it. Yeah. it. Trickles over the line. Well, again, it comes from doing the things we talk about: is shooting pucks at the net and getting traffic in front. And if you get some traffic and and make some things happen, uh, goalies aren't going to see it clear and going to be able to catch it or, or block it the way they want to. And uh, uh, it's all things that we've talked about, and it's all things that are working for us. And that keeps you on beating record code as well since you're. Five TR, it's five games now. But yeah, the honeymoon nice. continues. But uh, it, it's nice. It's not my record. It's the it's the players' record. Uh, they're the guys that d deserve it. Uh, they're the guys that work hard and grind and battle. And uh, I do lots of talking and uh, and everything. But uh, they're certainly the the guys that deserve to to win. You know, be, be in five in a row and uh, to win and move to the quarterfinal or the semifinals. Well, speaking of the semi-finals, you'll play either Dundee Stars or Sheffield Steelers. Dundee are four-two up from the first leg. You saw them at first hand on right. Sunday. There, you get Sheffield coming this Saturday. Do you have a preference? No, no. I, I mean, I'm just excited to be there, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Sheffield's, you know, obviously uh, higher up in the standings, so you assume they're a better team. But uh, um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll have a look at both of them, and uh, hopefully, we get them on the, you know, at a tired time and uh, give ourselves a little advantage. But uh, um, it, it doesn't really matter. It's nice to get <laughs> to the semifinals, and uh, uh, I'll sleep good tonight and have a big smile on my face. Nice. So well done, Paul. Well done, sure. and thanks for watching.